Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I've got a really exciting flow to share with you. It's actually day one of Josh and I's Costa Rica Inspired Yoga Challenge. We're gonna be doing 20 days of yoga for 20 minutes. So we really hope to have you along for the whole journey. If you're just tuning in now and you're not following along with the challenge, no problem at all. This flow today, day one, is gonna be inspired by the national butterfly of Costa Rica, the emperor butterfly. Now it's a beautiful, big blue butterfly with huge wings. So we're gonna be opening up the chest, the heart space, opening out into that back body. If you have chosen to follow along with the playlist today, you can find the link in the bio below. And I'll just give you a few moments to get that ready before we press play together. So we're gonna start in a child's pose and we're gonna get playing with the playlist in three, two, one. So taking those knees as wide as your mat and tucking the toes, we're gonna stretch those fingertips forward, beginning to soften the heart space towards the earth. And I love to use these first few moments just to arrive. So really notice how your body is feeling today. Perhaps this is the first time you're coming to your mat in a while, so just reminding yourself to be kind. And as we arrive here, just beginning to tune into the breath, feeling the belly softly rise and fall between those thighs. And as we arrive here, I'd like to invite you to work with a mantra today as we flow together. That mantra is, I am growing. I am evolving and I am free. Softly whispering to yourself, as you let that mantra soak in, as you begin to wiggle the hips from side to side, just feeling into the body. On your next inhale, tuck your chin in towards your chest. You're gonna stretch those fingertips towards the knees, roll up through the spine, opening out into the side body. We're gonna extend our right fingertips to the right hand side. Inhale, left arm rises high to the sky. On your exhale, take a lovely deep side stretch. Right hand finds the earth, really cracking open through the side of the body. Taking a deep inhale here, maybe gaze up towards the sky. And then exhale, we're gonna let that left hand land over to the right hand side. Extend the right arm, forehead to the earth if you can. Coming into this child's pose with a bit of a side stretch. So imagining this right arm is your wing here, opening feeling all the spaces between your rib cage expand. Final inhale here. On your exhale, walk those hands back to the center, wiggle those hips from side to side, just reset your spine. Inhale to prepare, exhale, ripple up, vertebrae by vertebrae, allowing that head to arrive last, roll the shoulders up, back and down, and release the breath. This time, left fingertips out to the left-hand side. Inhale, right arm rises. On your exhale, take that lovely deep side stretch, really cracking the heart open towards the sky. Deep breath here as you gaze towards those lifted fingertips. And then exhale, we're gonna allow that right hand to arrive on the left-hand side. Left hand out wide as if it's a wing, forehead to the earth. Feel that deep side stretch along the side of the body. And our aim here is to really create a little bit of space for the breath here. Deep inhale. On your exhale, pad those hands through center. Give those hips a little wiggle here. And then ripple up vertebrae by vertebrae again, coming to that seated kneeling position. We're now gonna take three rounds of lion's breath using this lovely big heart opening motion. So lion's breath is inhaling through the nose and then really audibly exhaling out through the mouth, maybe even sticking out the tongue. You can close the eyes if you feel more comfortable. 
It's a great way to activate that parasympathetic nervous system, that rest and digest, allowing us to enter that moving meditation. So together, we're going to inhale, rise the bottom off the knees, lift those fingertips nice and high. Exhale, bend the elbows, curve the spine. <sighs> inhale, we lift. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> Final time, we lift. Exhale to release. And this time reaching those hands high towards the sky. Final time. <sighs> Taking one hand to the belly now, one hand to the chest, allowing that lovely clearing breath to sink in as you just pause here for a moment. An invitation now to welcome in Ujjayi breath if that's something you like to work with, breathing in and out through the nose finding a gentle restriction, an oceanic sound at the back of the throat. Just practicing that breath for a few moments. We're then gonna pad the hands forward, coming into a tabletop position now, shoulders in line with wrists, hips over knees, moving through just a few rounds of cat-cow to mobilize that spine, inhale to come forward, exhale to round the back. Inhale, we lift and lengthen. And then exhale to dome. Final time, we look forward, we lengthen, we open through the heart space. And exhale to round. This time, we're going to extend our right toes towards the back of the mat. Find a gentle little calf stretch as you rock backwards and forwards. Inhale here. Exhale, kickstand, left calf, sweep right arm up and over as you press into the outer edge of that right foot. Option to stay here, option to engage the core, lift that right leg. And if you want to take this into a little heart opener, maybe catching the bind, right hand to the right foot, kick the right foot into the hand as you curve through the spine, opening the chest. Deep breath here, we inhale. Exhale, release the bind, right hand to the earth, swizzle yourself forward, and then slide that right knee in, maybe a little cat-cow just to reset the spine here. Coming onto the opposite side, extending that left foot now, rocking a little, opening out into that calf. Deep inhale here. Exhale, kicks down, right calf, sweep left arm up and over, maybe gazing towards those lifted fingertips. Option to stay here, option to engage the core, lift that left leg. And if you want to come into that little heart opener again, maybe left hand catches the left foot, pressing the left foot into the hand, opening out through the chest. Deep breath here, we inhale. Exhale, release the bind. Left hand comes back to the earth. Slide that left knee in. Take a little cat-cow, reset your spine. And then together, we're going to tuck the toes. Send the tailbone nice and high. Come to your first downward facing. So I invite you to find as much movement as you like here, pedaling out through those feet, wiggling the tailbone from left to right. Together we find a bit of stillness now, spreading fingers nice and wide, softening through the shoulders. On your next inhale, right leg rises high to the sky. On the exhale, step or guide the foot between the hands. We're gonna press down to lift up, come to a high crescent lunge, so all 10 toes facing forward. As if we're moving through honey, we're gonna take those waves like we did at the beginning of the class. So inhale, we lift. Exhale, open the chest. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, open that heart space. Final time, we lift. Exhale to release. And this time, lift those fingertips nice and high. On your exhale, come to your warrior two. So deep bend in that front knee. Check that left hand is in line. Inhaling here. Exhale, we're going to rotate into an arrow lunge. So all 10 toes facing forward, engaging that core. Weight is over that right foot. We inhale. Exhale, frame that front foot. Press down to lift the right hand up to the sky, coming into an easy twist. Creating a bit of mobility in the shoulder now. We inhale, gaze towards those lifted fingertips. Exhale, sweep that right hand down and around. 
two more times. Inhale, we lift. Exhale to release. Final time, we lift and lengthen. This time on your exhale, frame the front foot, step back. Moving through our first vinyasa, so shift the weight forward. Exhale, lower knees, chest, chin, three points. Inhale to roll the shoulders, lift the chest, separate the feet in your baby cobra. And then exhale, we release, roll all the way back over those knees, tuck the toes, send the tailbone nice and high downward facing. Left side we go, inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, step or guide the foot between the hands, press down to lift up, high crescent lunge. As if you're moving through warm water, inhale, we lift. Exhale, cactus those arms, open the chest. Inhale, we lift and lengthen. Exhale to release. Final time we lift. Exhale, let go with the breath. This time, arms towards the sky, and we'll exhale, peel open, warrior two. Really pressing into the outer edge of that back foot. Deep breath here, stand strong as we inhale. Exhale, swizzle all 10 toes to face forward, lean the weight, come into your arrow lunge. Engaging through those glutes, through the core, we inhale. Exhale, come to frame that front foot, pressing down through the right hand, peel up through the left. Easy twist. Again, taking those waves, we inhale, gaze towards those lifted fingertips. Exhale, sweep that left hand back. Inhale, we lift and lengthen. Exhale to release. Final time we lift. Exhale to release, this time framing the front foot, step back. Optional full vinyasa this time, shift the weight forward. Wrap the elbows in, lower high to low plank. Inhale to your upward facing or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna be here for three breaths. Gazes softening between those knees, spreading the fingertips nice and wide as you begin to feel some heat building in the body, I know I am. Final inhale here. Exhale, can you soften chest a little closer towards the thighs? On your next inhale, right leg rises high to the sky. This time, bend that right knee, open out through the hip. Deep inhale here. Exhale, this time, stepping all the way through, rotate to the outer edge of that back foot. Wimble the arms up, warrior two. This time, we're gonna flip that front palm, reach forward, exhale, open the side body, reverse the warrior. Deep breath here, we inhale. Exhale this time, open those arms nice and wide, straighten that front leg. We're gonna heel toe that back foot in ever so slightly. Reach forward with the right hand and then tilt into your triangle pose, your trikonasana. Gaze is lifted, heart space dialing towards the sky. Deep inhale here. On your exhale, gaze down towards those right toes. Reach the right hand forward to find the block or the floor as you open out half moon. Now an invitation to play with a balance here, maybe right hand to the heart space. Or if you wanna come back to that bind, softly bend that right knee, maybe taking left hand to the left ankle, kicking the foot out here. Deep breath, we inhale. Exhale, take a huge step back with control, fan the arms open, warrior two. And then cartwheel them to frame the front foot, stepping back to move through that vinyasa. Moving to the rhythm of your own breath as we all meet back in our downward facing. Left side we go, inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip, three-legged dog. Inhaling here, exhale, step or guide the foot between the hands. Step onto the outer edge of that right foot. When were the arms straight up to warrior two, softening through those shoulders. This time we flip the front palm, reach forward, exhale, reverse that warrior, cracking open the heart space. Inhaling here. Exhale, come back warrior two, this time straighten that front leg. Maybe shorten the stance a little as we lift that left hand forward, tilt into your trikonasana. Gazing towards those lifted fingertips as you open out through the heart space. Deep inhale here. Exhale, gaze down towards those left toes. Deep bend in the left knee as you reach forward to find the block or the floor. Opening through the hips, the heart space as you flex that back foot. 
that option to play with a balance or bind here, not worrying if you fall. Maybe coming back to that mantra. I am growing, I am evolving, I am free. Inhale here, exhale, release the bind. Take a huge step back with control, warrior two. And then cartwheel the hands to frame that front of foot. Step back, move through our vinyasa. Inhale to upward facing or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna take a deep clearing breath here in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. This time we're gonna lower those knees. Gaze forward, wrap the elbows into the sides of the body as you snake all the way down to line your belly. Forehead to the hands, wiggle those hips from side to side. We're gonna take a broken wing, so right cheek to the earth, cactus right arm. Using that left hand as a kickstand, we're gonna roll onto that right hand side, maybe touching those left toes behind, coming into our broken wing. Deep breath here, we inhale. Exhale, come back to the belly. Reset the spine, maybe wiggle the hips. And then coming onto that left hand side, so left arm in a cactus position, left cheek on the earth, right hand in front of the face. On your exhale, rolling onto that left hand side, maybe touching right toes behind as we open through that heart center. Inhale here. Exhale, coming all the way down to lie on your belly. Maybe wiggle those hips, forehead to the hands. We're then going to slide our hands underneath our shoulders, press all the way up and back through our tabletop position. Before we tuck the toes, send the tailbone nice and high for our final downward facing dog. Releasing any sighs, any yawns, any clearing breaths here. On your next inhale, gaze forward, end of the exhale, step jump, take a little float to the top of the mat. And we're gonna take some little butterfly legs now, so drawing the soles of the feet together in our Baddha Feet to touch, knees nice and wide. We're just gonna take some little movements with the breath here, so inhale, rise those knees. Exhale, send them down. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, release. So really building some ability and strength in the hips here. Two more times in your own breath. When you're ready, releasing the hands from the feet, we're gonna reach forward and lower down for the count of five. Engaging the core for three, for two, and then for one, when you get there, just take a moment to take those arms in a diamond shape, mirroring those legs opening out through those hips. We're gonna close our practice today with a supine twist. So when you're ready, bringing those feet hip width apart, checking you can tickle those heels with the fingertips, but then gonna squeeze that right knee in towards the chest, left leg goes out long. Give that right knee a little hug, a little wiggle. And then on your next exhale, right knee over to the left hand side, shuffle left hip underneath the body as you rotate from the center of the spine. Taking the gaze towards that right arm as you find your wing again, so cactus that right arm, open out through the chest as we rotate from the center of the spine. And breathing here, we inhale. Exhale, coming back to center, squeeze the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a little hug, a little wiggle. And this time, keeping hold of that left knee, right leg goes out long. On your next exhale, once you've found a little bit of space here, we're gonna draw the left knee over to the right hand side, rotating through the center of the spine. And I sometimes find it super helpful to lift those shoulders off the earth, place them back down again, find some space in the chest, really rooting those shoulders down into the earth. Not forgetting about those lovely big wings opening through the chest, cactus, left arm. I'm beginning to calm down our practice. 
final inhale here. Exhale, we're gonna draw everything into center. Squeeze those knees up and towards the chest. Maybe rise the forehead towards the knees. Take a deep inhale. And then exhale, let everything go. Take up as much space as you like. Open those legs, open those arms, those wings. Feel the new space around the heart center. As we arrive in our Shavasana, our closing relaxation, perhaps dedicating the energy to someone you love, someone you care about, the warmth that we've been building around that heart center. Bringing that person onto your mat and into your heart space. And you can either pause me here, enjoy this sensation of deep relaxation, or if you're coming with me, we're gonna start to wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingers, bringing some awareness, some life back into the body. Circling those wrists, those ankles, taking a full body stretch, maybe draw the legs together, fingertips all the way down to the toes. And then tuck those knees in towards our chest, wrap our arms around, give ourselves a lovely big hug. Rocking from side to side as you massage the lower spine. And then just falling on whichever side suits you best. In no rush whatsoever, we're gonna rise to find a seated position at the top of our mat, closing the practice exactly the way we begun today. We're gonna inhale, rise those hands high towards the sky, lightly touch the palms. Exhale, draw everything into our heart center, using this time to come back to that mantra. I am growing, I am evolving, I am free. Together we rise thumbs to third eye, bow chin towards the chest, always in gratitude and always in peace. Thank you so, so much for letting me guide you today. And if you're joining along with the challenge, we hope to see you the whole way. If you need to find any of the links, you can find the whole pathway to the challenge on Instagram um, or on my YouTube page as well. And if you have any comments, drop them below. I look forward to seeing you next time.